In our last video, we counted down five of OSHA's top 10 safety violations in 2021. I'm Jason Stahl, and we're going to discuss more safety violations from 2021 next in the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. <laughs> Number six, lockout tagout. Anytime you work around energized equipment from electrical sources, such as machines found in a shop environment, you may run the risk of injury. Make sure your lockout tagout procedures are in writing and that all employees have been trained on what to do when they see a tag affixed to a locked machine. Number seven, fall protection training requirements. This is another standard that mostly applies to construction, but should be applied to general industry when necessary. Falls are among the most common causes of serious work injuries, and workers can fall into an automotive pit when there aren't protective measures in place. It's not always common sense. Workers need to be trained annually about falls and other hazards of the job, and this training must be in a language they can understand. Number eight, eye and face protection. Eye and face protection must be provided to employees whenever necessary to protect against chemical, environmental, radiological, or mechanical irritants and hazards. Safety glasses and goggles, face shields, and welding masks are common protective devices in a shop. Look out for your coworkers and remind them to put on their PPE. You could help prevent an eye injury. Also, make sure your eye wash stations are stocked, functioning, and maintained regularly in case of emergency. Number nine, powered industrial trucks. Anyone who operates a forklift has to be trained, certified, and evaluated for competency. Keep an eye on who is operating your forklift too. It is a violation of federal law for anyone under the age of 18 to operate a forklift, even just for a minute or two. Pay attention to this standard if you have a forklift or other powered truck in your facility. Number 10, machinery and machine guarding. Any machine part, function, or process that may cause injury must be safeguarded. Guards are installed on machines and power tools for a reason and should not be removed or modified. The reason? To protect you from crushing a finger or losing an arm. Some examples of machine guards are barrier guards, two-hand tripping devices, and electronic safety devices. Make sure guards are in place properly before you use a tool. So there you have it, OSHA's top 10 safety violations in 2021. This list is compiled annually as a reminder for all businesses to make safety a priority. When you look at this list, do you see any areas for improvement in your shop? This content was based on an article that SP2 wrote for Body Shop Business. For more training guidance from SP2, visit sp2.org. I'm Jason Stahl from the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. Thanks for watching.